Hello and welcome to Wheels Up. I'm Athena and I'll be your host today. I'm so excited to take you on an amazing journey brought to you by the Sunrise Association, Sunrise Studios, and our friends at American Airlines. While we're on our adventure, see if you can spot Wings, our special airplane friend, in three different places. After our adventure, please join us for some super fun games and crafts. Are you ready? Fasten your seatbelts and let's go on an adventure! Here to kick us off is a special representative from American Airlines. Welcome passengers. I'm American Airlines flight attendant Julian Peterman. Welcome on board our very special flight today with service from the Sunrise Association and American Airlines. Are you ready for a fantastic adventure? Buckle up, sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. Hola, adventurers! Do you know what language I just said hello to you in? If you answered Spanish, that's correct! Spanish is spoken in many places around the world, including in Central America, an area sandwiched between North and South America. And guess what? That's where we're headed today! We're going to a Central American country with tons of history and exciting adventures at every turn. Are you ready to have good times in Guatemala? So let's fasten our seatbelts and prepare for landing as our American Airlines flight touches down in Guatemala City, Guatemala. Welcome to Guatemala, adventurers. To get to know this incredible country, we must meet the Mayans. In ancient times, the Mayans were the first people to live in Guatemala. They made lots of important inventions, like their own calendar system, and one of the world's first written languages. Fun fact number one. Ancient Mayans were the first people to use the number zero. Wow! But Mayans didn't only live in Guatemala in ancient times, they still live here today. In fact, more than half of the people in Guatemala are indigenous or native to the area. And although Guatemala's official language is Spanish, there are also 26 unique Mayan languages spoken throughout the country. What? I had no idea! Many Mayan women still weave and wear trajes, the brightly colored clothing that their ancestors wore. Look how beautiful and detailed they are! Now that we've learned a bit about the impressive Mayan people, let's explore Guatemala City. Guatemala City is the capital of Guatemala and the largest city in all of Central America. Our first stop here is Cayala a peaceful nature park in the middle of the busy city. Cayala is a great place to run, play sports, or do some yoga while keeping an eye out for birds, butterflies, rabbits, squirrels, frogs, and lots of cool plants. We can even put our balance to the test by climbing this awesome wooden obstacle course. Wait up! I want to play! There are also environmental guides at Kayala that teaches visitors like us how to take care of our planet by doing simple yet important things, like recycling. Fun fact number two. Guides at Kayala made a Christmas tree out of plastic bottles, aluminum cans, and other recycled materials. Wow, that's amazing! Now that we've had a blast at the park, let's see what other adventures Guatemala has in store. In order to do so, we're going to be riding a chicken bus. Despite their name, chicken buses are not buses full of chickens. They're actually school buses from the United States that are painted with vibrant colors and renovated so they can be ridden by people of all ages all around Guatemala. Wow! So cool! Let's take a look at how the classic yellow American school bus 
is transformed into a colorful Guatemalan chicken bus. How cool! As we approach our destination, let's make sure to say gracias to our chicken bus driver on our way out. That means thank you in Spanish. Gracias! Onward to the next stop of our journey. Wait, are you seeing what I'm seeing, adventurers? We arrived at a real volcano! Fun fact number three. There are 37 volcanoes in Guatemala. This volcano, called Pacaya, is one that you can hike. With the help of a guide who's trained to keep us safe, we can climb this massive volcano by foot or even by horseback. Shall we saddle up, adventurers? Wow, I can't believe we're horseback riding up a volcano. This is amazing. The only problem is I'm getting a little hungry. Lucky for me, we have a lunch reservation at the top of the volcano. If that sounds a little silly to you, let me explain. Pizza Pacaya is a business that makes pizza using the heat from the volcano. No way. And we won't have to wait long at all for our pizza because the lava is so hot that it cooks in about two minutes. Mmm, this is delicious. Now that we've enjoyed some yummy pizza, it's time to hop back on our horses and descend back down the volcano so we can head to our next exciting destination. Monterrico. Monterrico is a beautiful coastal town known for its black sand beaches and laid back vibe. We're here today to visit Portugario Monterrico an important nesting area for baby sea turtles. Aw, so cute! Throughout the year, several different types of sea turtles are born here, like olive ridley turtles, green sea turtles, and leatherback turtles. In fact, around 5,000 baby sea turtles are hatched and released into the ocean here each year. And the best part is, Visitors like us can help. Let's do our part to guide these baby sea turtles to the ocean, adventurers. Wow, look at them go. Now that we've given some adorable baby turtles their send off to the sea, let's see what else Guatemala has to offer. The next stop on our agenda is the city of Antigua. Hooray, here we are in Antigua. Known for its brightly colored buildings and cobblestone streets, there are so many fun things to do in Antigua. And a popular way to get around the city is by tuk-tuk. Fun fact number four. A tuk-tuk is a small three-wheeled taxi. Let's go for a tuk-tuk ride, adventurers. But make sure to hold on tight. Remember when I told you about Antigua's cobblestone streets? Well, they can make the ride pretty bumpy. It almost feels like a roller coaster. Now, before we get out of our tuk-tuk, do you remember how to say thank you to our driver in Spanish? That's right, gracias. Wondering what we're doing next? Well, we're about to take a class, but not just any class, a hot chocolate making class. Fun fact number five. Ancient Mayans invented chocolate and only Mayan royalty drank hot chocolate. Let's take a look at how traditional Guatemalan hot chocolate is made. The cocoa beans are roasted, then ground into a paste that's mixed with sugar. This paste is formed into little tablets of sweet chocolate that are mixed with hot water to make the delicious drink. Would you try that? Wow, I can't believe how many good times we've had all around Guatemala. But after a day full of amazing adventures, the time has come to say hasta luego. That means see you later in Spanish. But don't worry, 
we're heading back to the Sunrise Treehouse for some fun activities. In fact, our American Airlines flight is ready to take us there now. Hasta luego, adventurers! Wow, that was an incredible adventure. We discovered so much. Did you spot Wings the Airplane? <gasps> Great job. I think it's time for another game now. Come on. Welcome to Which One Is? In this game, we're going to match the word or words with the photo that represents it. Are you ready? Let's play. Yay! Question one. Which one is Kayala? Question two. Which one is a tuk-tuk? Question three. Which one is Pakaya? Question four. Which one is a traje? Question five. Which one is Tortugarillo Monterrico? Great job. Thanks for playing. Which one is? Great job. That was so much fun. Time to hop on our flight to the Sunrise Treehouse for some arts and crafts. Are you ready? Let's go! Hi adventurers, my name is Lindsay and I'm so excited to do arts and crafts with you. Today we visited the amazing country of Guatemala, so we'll be making our own chicken bus. Hope you enjoy! Here are the supplies you'll need. White paper, pencil, paint, markers, crayons, or colored pencils. So we saw lots of super colorful chicken buses all around our adventures in Guatemala. So let's make our own today. So first we're going to grab a white piece of paper and I would recommend drawing out your bus in pencil first, but I'm going to use marker just so you can see a little bit better. So our first step is to draw out the body of the bus. So we'll draw a straight line up and then a longer line across, and then a shorter line down. And then for the nose of the bus, we'll draw another line across and another line down, just like that. And then instead of making it a full completed box, we'll draw out the wheels. So just one circle here. And then right next to it, we'll draw a little semicircle to show the back wheel. And then continue our rectangle and then we'll draw our other two wheels. So one circle, smaller circle in the middle, and then the little semicircle next to it, and then complete our box. So our next step is to add the windows and the doors. So I'm going to add three windows to my bus. So starting on the left side, I'm just going to draw a rounded square shape and then two more right next to it, just like this.
So here we have our three windows. And then up next, we're going to draw a long rectangle to make our doors. So just like this. And then we'll draw a line down the middle. And we can give each of our doors a window. So I'm just going to make my windows like this, like a long oval shape with a flat bottom. And then the same thing right next to it. So here we have our side windows and our doors. And the last thing to make is our front window, the front windshield. So we can just do the same shape, that long oval with the flat bottom. And then last but not least is our headlights. So we have a half circle over here. And then we can draw another long oval with a flat bottom for the front of the car. So now that we have the body of our bus completed, it's time for the fun part, decorating it. And I'm going to use markers because that's what I have around, but you can also use crayons, colored pencils, watercolors, whatever you'd like. And this is super fun because you can make it as colorful as possible, decorate it however you'd like. I'm going to make mine very flowery. So I think I'm going to start by drawing some petals around the wheels. Just like this. And I'm gonna color them in blue. And again, you can decorate this however you'd like. If you have a favorite sports team, you can decorate it like that. If you have a favorite animal, you can put that on there. If you remember the chicken buses we saw in Guatemala, they were all super unique and different. So feel free to make this your own. So I think I'm going to also make another flower around the other wheel. I'm gonna use pink this time. So I'm just drawing my petals. And I'm gonna color that in. But you can make stripes around the wheels, you can make polka dots around the wheels. You can decorate it however you'd like. So I'm thinking about what I want to do next on my chicken bus because I really have free reign here. I think I'm going to draw some rainbow stripes. So. I'm gonna draw seven lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'll fill in the colors of the rainbow inside of those lines. So I'll start with red at the top. Add some orange underneath it. Then yellow. And I'll just keep going through the rainbow. Wouldn't it be so much fun to ride on a bus that looks this cool?
Chicken buses also sometimes have really cool lights added to them to make them even more special. So after I draw these stripes, I'm going to draw a light coming out of the front of the bus. So just like this. People in Guatemala also sometimes name their chicken buses. So I think I'm going to name our bus Wheels for Wheels Up. So I'm gonna write that right here on the side of the bus. Just like that. Now I'm gonna start decorating the door of the bus. Hmm, let's see, what color should I make it? I think I'll do green. I'll do green for one door and maybe I'll do the other door yellow. Some chicken buses even have cartoon characters on them. So if you wanna draw your favorite cartoon character, feel free to do that. That would look super cool. So now I'm going to color the other door orange. So now I'm just gonna go through with my red marker and outline the petals just to make sure they pop and don't get lost against the background. So just like that, and I'll do the same thing over here. And now it's time to color in our wheels. So I want them to be black and I don't have a black marker, so I'm just gonna use a black crayon. So just color it in like this. And I was wondering why they're called chicken buses. And I found out that it's because not only do they transport people from place to place, they also sometimes carry chickens. So that is the reason for the super silly name of chicken bus. It actually makes sense. And then I'm just going to outline the back wheels and I'm gonna color them in a little bit lighter than the front wheels just to show some contrast so they look a little different and they stand out from each other. So I'm just pushing a little bit lighter. And then next step is to color in the center of our wheels. And you can do a different color for that or you can do the same thing, just press a little more lightly with your black crayon. So I think our chicken bus needs a little bit more decoration because I heard that the more colorful chicken buses get more passengers. So let's see, what can we do? I think I'm gonna add some hearts at the top of our chicken bus. So I'm gonna use green and draw some hearts all the way across. Maybe I'll use green and pink actually and make a fun pattern. Thank you. 
then I'm going to color in the headlight. So our last step is to just finish filling in the background of our bus. So I'm going to use this greenish yellow color and just fill in the rest of that white space. Now that my chicken bus is almost done, I love how it's turning out. I wish I could ride a bus like this. How fun would that be? So here is Wheels, my colorful and creative finished chicken bus. And here's another chicken bus I made earlier today. I hope you had so much fun making your own chicken bus and I'll see you next time. Bye. Wow, we had so much fun crafting with you today. And now we're coming in for a landing at our final destination, our amazing trivia game, where you will have more fun with trivia questions about our adventure today. I'm gonna ask you five questions. Each question will have four answers, but only one is correct. Can you get the right answer? Let's play. Welcome to trivia. Question one. What did the ancient Mayans invent? A, the number zero. B, their own calendar system. C, one of the first written languages. Or D, all of the above. The answer is D, all of the above. Question two. What can you do at Kayala? A, climb a wooden obstacle course. B, look at birds and butterflies. C, play sports. Or D, all of the above. The answer is D, all of the above. Question three. What does gracias mean in Spanish? A, hello. B, thank you, C, goodbye, or D, see you later? The answer is B, thank you. Did you get it right? Question four, where did we eat pizza that was cooked using lava? A, Pacaya, B, Tortugarillo, Monterrico, C, Museo Miraflores, or D, Antigua? The answer is A, Pacaya. Question five. Who drank hot chocolate in ancient Mayan times? Is it A, everyone, B, kids, C, royalty, or D, tuk-tuk drivers? The answer is C, royalty. How cool. Thank you for playing trivia. Thanks for watching this episode of Wheels Up. I had so much fun with you today on our adventure, crafting, and playing our games. Did you know that there are so many more Wheels Up adventures waiting for you to enjoy? Just head to our YouTube channel or download the Sunrise Studios app, available on your mobile phone, tablet, or smart TV. We can't wait to see you on our next flight with Wheels Up. Brought to you by Sunrise Association, Sunrise Studios, and American Airlines. See you next time. Bye.